Yes, hello. I just shot okay. someone. In a you just shot night. someone? Who did you shoot? I don't know. What is your name? Jared Hughes. Jared Hughes. Okay. Why did you shoot him? I uh, came at me aggressively in my parking lot at Concount. Sir, where is the person shot? Right up across the abdomen. Here, 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 here. In their abdomen? Okay, stay on the line for me. Do not hang up. Gary, look at me. Gary, Gary. Gary, look at me. <laughs> All right, first day, um, before we start anything, because formality, I'm going to read you your rights. This is Lloyd Preston Brewer III. Lloyd is currently being interrogated for shooting a 21-year-old male named Garrett Hughes. On February 13th, 2023, Garrett was spending the evening at a local bar. It is notable that Garrett was visibly intoxicated and was engaged in the act of urinating near a commercial property owned by Lloyd. This particular circumstance coincidentally took place at one of the bars that Lloyd himself owns, and as a result, Lloyd's response to Garrett's action escalated to the point where he shot him. Keep in mind that this case is currently ongoing and all alleged perpetrators are deemed innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. In this video, we will weigh out the facts and evidence to determine if it was an act of self-defense or murder. During the interrogation, Lloyd repeatedly emphasizes his fear for his life and that Garrett approached Lloyd first, which would be a key factor in establishing a self-defense. Go ahead and let me know. Tell me, tell me what you got. Are there for um, the Super Bowl? Okay. Uh, I was with uh, my niece and her boyfriend. Okay. They left. I am now single, so I hung out for a little bit longer um, to see if maybe a potential suitorist might show up. Okay. Nothing happened. I was ready to go home. Um, I noticed there was a lot of activity going to and from the back door. Okay. As we have discussed in the past. Yes. Correct? Yes. So I went out back to just see what was going on. As you know, I am armed. Lloyd seems to personally know the officer interrogating him as he assumes that the police officer knows that he walks around armed with a gun. However, an important piece of information to note is that Lloyd is the owner of the commercial property which houses the bar and the bar's parking lot where this altercation occurred. Lloyd's justification for apprehending the misbehaved young man Garrett Hughes was because it was on his property, so he believed that he had the responsibility to confront him. Nature of my business. My property. All right. I went out back and there was... Not one, it, this was not a drug dealer, I don't think, just a guy. And he had buddies with him, and there were, there were cars, but he was in between two cars. There were car, and there, there were people on either side, and I guess they were all together. I okay. don't know. They hadn't come from inside the bar. I don't know where they came from. And he's pissing in the parking lot okay. and on the building. And I said, man, can't you just go in the and I'll be honest, can't you just go in the fucking bar and piss in the toilet? And we exchanged words. And as it progressed, he became more agitated and approached me. This is the first of many times in this interrogation where Lloyd will claim very strongly that Garrett had approached him first. As you may have already noticed, this will be Lloyd's narrative. And watch how he builds up on this narrative as the interrogation continues on. And I said, look, I own this. Stop. He continued to approach. I said, I'm armed. It appeared as though he was reaching for something. The first shot went off this way. The second shot went off up in the air. To the best of my recollection, he was already on top of me. It would happen that fast. Lloyd mentions that the first shot was fired in a straight line forward, and by the second shot was made, Garrett was already on top of him, which caused the shot to be fired towards the sky. 
This will be a crucial piece of fact in this case and ultimately in Lloyd's defense because if Garrett did indeed make the first aggression towards Lloyd, the position Lloyd had described on how they ended up after the shooting with Garrett on top of Lloyd would make sense. Okay. There's no doubt I fired a weapon. Okay. Because they wouldn't let me wash my hands. Right. Yeah, happened. we'll do that after. It, 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 okay. it happened. All right. I immediately, once he was down, did not continue to assault him, set my firearm on the hood of a car, okay. awaiting the arrival of the police. I did not render aid because other people showed up to render aid. Okay. And I know he's got a lot of witnesses that are going to say a lot of different things. That's what happened from my perspective. Okay. But I can tell you, he was on me so fast that my second shot went in the air. Okay. It was that fast. Did it, did it happen? Did the altercation happen like on the, in the parking lot itself? Or? In the parking lot itself. Okay. So not in the bar. No, 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 not in the bar. I'm saying like, well. Were you in between the car? In between cars, the cars, so was that? Here, uh, in, in between the, the, the in between the cars. Okay. Right here. All right. All of that's a matter of fact. It'll okay. there's cameras everywhere. Right? Okay. So that all of that is a matter of fact. Okay. And then as he approached me, I identified I own all of this. Yeah. It's all my property. Okay. I identified myself as the owner of the property. I identified myself as being armed. He still right. approached and appeared as though he was going for something. Okay. That's, who the fuck are you? We're just going back and forth on this thing. And it just, that, that fast. Okay. That dude was agitated already. I mean, you can test me for drugs or whatever. I don't know. I, I, I swear I hope he's okay. Right. I, 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 I hit him in the abdomen. I don't think I hit him with the second shot because the second shot went in the air. It was that fast. So when when that ha when the altercation happened, um, that you all came together, was there any contact with you on him? Did you grab him? Did he grab you? Did was there any uh, hand contact? Not to my recollection. Okay. It, 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 it happens so fast, but when somebody's coming at you that fast, I got you. It doesn't. Got you. It doesn't matter. I'm so you're pissing, and he zipped his pants up, and we had words, and he came at me. Okay. And it, I mean, there's no reason for me to go at a guy that's just pissing, other than verbally. Just you know, really go to the fucking bar. They got three bathrooms. I got you. Lloyd seems to really believe that he is the victim here and goes on to talk about his physical size compared to Garrett to develop some sort of understanding or sympathy from the cop on why he was threatened. He continues to build up the narrative that he was threatened and felt he was attacked and therefore it was justified to shoot him. I didn't know him. He had no reason to have malice for me that I'm aware of. Right. I mean, a lot of people know me, you know that. Yeah. No. I did not recognize him as someone that I'd run into before. Okay. All right. Um, and as far as words, you don't, can't remember what he told you or anything like that? You no, know, it, it okay. was all... I hate to say it, but, you know, in the heat of battle, in the heat of the moment, words are exchanged. Yes. Can I be verbally abusive? Yes. I can't. But did, did I walk up and strike him to cause him to come at me? No. All right. Okay. No, no. Look at my right. size. I mean, no. Right. And, I, and my recollection is the guy was a little bit taller than I am. All right. Did he hit you? Did he strike you? No, he came at me in a threatening manner. Okay. And it appeared as though he was grabbing, reaching for something. Okay. But he was coming at me. All right. Lloyd again emphasizes that Garrett came at him this time describing as in a threatening manner. The female cop will now ask what he means by a threatening manner. Okay. What do you, what right. do you mean by a threatening manner? Like, what could be threatening? Yeah, we're going to have these words and, yeah, like, yeah, we're going to have issues. Because, I, I mean, where, where he ended up, the best of my recollection, was outside here. Okay? Behind the cars. Right, out 
Okay, I'll sign down. down you, you tell me if I'm in, you tell me if I'm incorrect. But uh, yeah, so he obviously came toward me. Okay. Did did you find him here next to the building? No. You found him in the middle of the parking lot, okay. which is where I was. Which means he came to me. Mm -hmm. When you came out, where were his friends? There was a, a friend. I, okay, I don't know if they were his friends. Right. But the pe there were the other people. people. There were some over here mm -hmm. and some over here. But there were cars here and here. Oh, That's my recollection. So he was like he was isolated. So he was by himself, like staying but, pissing. Right. Okay. Yeah, like they're not sitting around watching the pits. Right, 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 right. Was there anybody okay. back here by the back door? Anybody hanging out back there? I worked out the I don't believe there was at the time. There was immediately afterwards. Okay. We were all kind of pieces sure. everywhere. All right. Afterwards. At what point did you draw on him? Was it here? When he got... When I fired... He was about this close because I fired on him. It appeared as though he was reaching for something, and he's coming at me. And by okay. the time he got that close, I fired, and he's on top of me. Okay. Did he fall on you? He came down. Yeah. Oh, did he? Like, like he, 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 my second shot went in the air. Okay, so were you? He was you, fell on, you fell on the ground. Do you remember if you fell on the ground and fell back? Yeah, I, I, I he came at me. Yeah, because when I broke, yeah, I, I, I got up, but he wasn't on top of me okay. by the time it all ended. He was on the ground. Okay. So I'm just trying to. Do you remember it. where he was reaching? Like, was he reaching? It looked like in, on his side. Okay. Okay. Which is where. I carried a firearm. Okay. I mean, there, there was no reason for this. No reason for this. No reason for this. This was... It. Do you remember if you were holding the gun with one hand or with two hands? Me? Mm -hmm. Were you able to actually when watch I, out properly? Tell you what the best of my recollection is. I'm sure it happened pretty fast. Two, one. Two, one. Okay. I mean, it was that fast. And just to get, so you, you're walking towards him. Yeah. I'm not walking toward him, he's walking toward me. Lloyd corrects the officer, saying that Garrett came at Lloyd. What Lloyd doesn't know is that this was actually the cop's mistake of slipping out a already known information through CCTV footage. The cop has already seen the footage of CCTV and already knows that it was Lloyd who walked towards Garrett. This may have been a critical error for Lloyd in his self-defense case, and the CCTV footage will be revealed shortly. Okay. Do you want to show? Like, show I'm trying to get, like, did you fall? You said you got, you got, you got up yeah, off the ground? He, yeah, because when he came, my second shot went in the air. Okay. It was that fast. Okay. All right. And I'm going to maintain stand your ground all day long. I mean, it's my parking lot. He's coming at me. I, I mean, I, it, what I hope comes out of this, I understand your job. And I understand friends don't cross that line for your job. I think this is a case for a grand jury. Upon analyzing the CCTV footage, notable events can be observed. Lloyd emerges from the back door of the bar while Garrett, facing away, is seen urinating across the parking lot. Initially, Lloyd walks towards Garrett, but then pauses, seemingly assessing the situation. He subsequently returns to the vicinity of the pub and engages in a verbal exchange with Garrett's friends. Following this short interaction, Lloyd draws his weapon from across the parking lot, what seems to be about 50 feet away, 
pointing it directly at Garrett upon his approach. Words are exchanged between them, and after a brief moment, it is Lloyd, not Garrett, who lunges at him, firing in a point-blank range. Based on the available information, this is the extent of our current knowledge of the case. Now, considering these details, it is essential to contemplate whether Lloyd's actions constitute guilt or self-defense. It is important to highlight another legal aspect regarding the shooting incident. The location where the shooting took place is situated on the opposite side of the parking lot, which is under the ownership and legal jurisdiction of a completely different individual or entity. Therefore, it is crucial to clarify that Lloyd did not commit the shooting on his own property, but rather on a separate property owned by someone else. 